You never visited him in six years, even though you were dating. Yeah, you never visited him. I have a place where we meet. I don't need to visit him. I can't do that because I'm working. Nollywood actress Halima Abubakar is finally speaking and spilling a side of the forbidden romance between her and Apostle Johnson Suleiman. As you know, the drama has been going on for almost a decade. The former Nollywood star told a side of the story and made some shocking revelations on January 20, 2023. During an explosive interview on Instagram, Halima Abubakar claimed that she dated the man of God for six years, adding that when rumors of their secret romance started making the rounds, she sought the pastor for advice on what to say, but he told her to go and delete herself. Did he threaten you in any way? Uh, yeah, the threat is for me to go and die now, you understand? Because he didn't think I'll come and agree that yes, yes, we dated, or yes, I was sick, or I had a spiritual attack, um, or something. He, I don't think anybody, including my own family, didn't know that I was going to come out and say it. The 37 year old actress, who recently announced the end of her acting career, claimed she didn't know a lover was a pastor when the relationship started in 2009. He told her he was a motivational speaker and into oil and gas. That was yeah, a Sunday, Sunday school, school teacher. teacher. And oil and gas. Sunday school teacher, oil and gas. Those are the things he said he was doing. And I don't uh, know well, to search the Sunday school. I'm not a Christian. Halima Abubakar revealed that she got pregnant on three occasions for the general overseer of Omega Fire Ministries International, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, whom she only knew as Johnson then. His name is Johnson. Johnson. Oh, why? Oh, Johnson. Okay. Yeah, because so, I don't know him as a postal, so don't call him a postal, please. Okay, sorry about so, that. Sorry about so. that. She also claimed he proposed to her up to seven times. Well, it looks like she rejected all the proposals. Somebody that, you know, shed tears to be with me. Something happened. Now, and this is, this is, I don't know. The ring you gave to me, the wristwatch, the promise, as in, what, what was all that about? He gave you a ring, so you guys were engaged or something? He gave me a he ring. Proposed. He, he proposed. proposed? Yes, and even a promised wristwatch. I have everything here. Halima Abubakar dropped another bombshell by confessing she had to lie to him that she had a baby in order to get his attention in the year 2020. Because I had to lie that I had a baby. So okay. she not said him she wants to come back and take care of my baby. How can you come back and take care of my baby? If I had a baby, is that how Stella is going to give my child away like that? Interestingly, Halima Abubaka is not the only one talking. Apostle Suleiman's PR manager, Stella Dimokokos, countered an interview and claimed that the Nollywood actress demanded 20 million naira as a settlement from the man of God after the secret romance. Um, um talking. That's a he dated her. He didn't settle her, but he settled others. He didn't give her car. He didn't give her house. So she wants to mess him up. I say I guess to her at the right time. I uh, want to make she continue to talk. Make she talk. She didn't know I, I was leading her on. Now, the problem I had with Halima is that after she told me people did juju to her, she now turns around and says a pastor is the one that did juju and caused her to bleed. So I responded in three videos and I said to Halima, Halima, go and check yourself for five rides. No one can be bleed that long. Check yourself. The former Nollywood actress was forced to come out again in a second interview to counter some of Apostle Suleiman's PR manager's claims and also address the one billion lawsuits slammed on her head by a former secret lover as well as the 20 million settlement she demanded from him. She vibrated me and talked about how evil I am, how people are tired of me in Nollywood. Imagine, who gets really tired of me in Nollywood? Because AGN is not for my place. I don't need AGN to come home. And there is nobody that can remove me from Nollywood. Now, now bring me come. So do not come and sit down and grant interviews that are unmerited. You are already compromised as a blogger. You are two-faced. Nobody should take you serious. Hmm. What do we believe? Halima Abubakar, who is telling her own story, or Apostle Suleiman's PR, who is speaking on his behalf. Keep watching as we look into all the shocking details exposed in this latest explosive interview. Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. Nollywood actress Halima Abubakar 
continues to make damning allegations against Apostle Suleiman during a January 20, 2023 interview organized by Gis Lover. The alien actress, who is now a shadow of her former self, revealed she dated the famous man of God for six years. During this illicit affair with a married pastor, Halima detailed how she lost three pregnancies and how the last pregnancy caused her to bleed non-stop for four good years. In July of 2022, the actress shocked Nigerians when she went public with claims that the Edo-based cleric is behind a life-threatening illness that has plagued her for years. Seven and millions of fans even more tea, she revealed her illness is spiritual and it started when she began an affair with the Apostle at the peak of her career in 2009. Initially, the founder of Omega Fire Ministries reacted by insulting the actress and the faceless Instagram blog, actively publishing these wild claims. Apostle Suleiman called them names while bragging that nobody could bring him down. One man was illicit. One man, I was just laughing. I was calling, but who be this one? Who be this one? We had this one day. This one day. Some of them are people who have come to my church. I should deny my children because you are writing something. The list not long, sir. Make it 200, Mumu. Oh, death. But the story changed as Apostle Suleiman took more action and slammed Halima Abubakar with a 1 billion naira lawsuit insisting that she either withdraw a defamatory statement against him or pay up for damaging his reputation. Halima Abubakar has refused to stand down and has now gone ahead to make even more shocking revelations about her alleged affair with the married pastor. On January 20 of this year, this lover invited the actress for an interview which was conducted with Comedian Princess. In the now viral clip of the interview, Halima narrated everything she knew about the pastor. The actress claimed she didn't know he was married at the beginning of the secret romance in 2009 but he later told her he was separated from his wife. He told me he was separated. I used to beg him to go and settle with his wife but he said no. He proposed to me more than seven times. He involved my parents and met them for introduction, she alleged. See, he told you he was his Sunday school teacher and then he found out after two years. Yes. So are you saying? between this period you didn't go to his house at all you... uh, no i didn't go to his house however in 2011 he told her it was a sunday school teacher a motivational speaker and into oil and gas she said she never visited his house his workplace or cared to know more about his personal life during the seven years of secret romance because she was a busy actress and businesswoman however Johnson met and familiarized himself with her family, including her parents. Um, I live in Lagos. Why did okay. he come with me then that he lives in Port Harcourt? Okay. So I assumed he was, you know, he his base was Port Harcourt. So of course, okay. I can't be going to Port Harcourt knowing that he has kids. There's no way. I've never even suggested that I come visit. He you never, Halima wait. You never visited him in six years, even though you were dating. No. Yeah, because you never they, visited I him. have a place where we meet. I don't need to visit him. I can't do that because I'm working. I was okay. always busy. Yeah. She talked about how they only met in the private apartments they co-owned in Lagos, where they often spent secret quality time together as lovers with no strings attached. After that, they will go about their respective businesses. Alima Abubakar admitted that she did not care about who he was and his lifestyle while dating, but he became a man she deeply loved. She claims to have bought him all the face caps he used to wear because she encouraged him to wear them to disguise himself when they met for secret affairs and both planned to keep the romance secret. I was buying him caps. I was buying it. Wow. I was getting him things to wear to just for him to, you know, disguise himself. Almost all the right. caps he's wearing, I bought all of them. Wow. Yeah. However, the actress's woes started after losing a third pregnancy. The sociology graduate claimed she started bleeding, which did not stop for four years. He never checked on her when she was sick, and the cleric continued to sleep with her even when she was bleeding out of the ordinary. If you go back to all the pictures I snapped on the red carpet, you will see me with bloated tummy, with skin cuts. Those period were the period I was going through hell. I was going through it. Did his wife know about you? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I was once pregnant for him. When I lost the baby, he was crying. You would think it was real because it was shedding tears that I had lost his child. It's crazy. I got pregnant three times for him. The last one got me bleeding. 
I had to take tablets to stop it, she said. On how long it took the bleeding to stop, she replied, For four years, I just came out since I have been in a long spiritual battle. Um, bleeding. Oh my goodness. That's the oh my dangerous goodness. part of it. And he was telling me he, he can't sleep with any other person, that's why. And that because it's me, you know, he's all with it. I, I am just, I am not, I, 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 it, the whole thing caught me unaware and I was naive. I did not really, and I wasn't a spiritual person. I didn't know if it was love. I didn't know what it was. But because he told me, you know, I'm the only person and he can't do anything like this with another person. While I was bleeding, there is no need to, to, to lie about anything with Sule. Why would I come and be, you know, talking about him here? I mean, Halima Abubakar also confessed that she had to lie to him that she had a baby to get his attention. This takes us back to April 2020 when the Nollywood actress announced that she welcomed a baby boy. But it turned out that the baby photo she used initially belonged to a black American woman who busts her bubbles on Instagram. Halima Abubakar first hinted in November of 2019 that she is expecting a little mini. This came as a surprise to many as the actress has never been married. Watch the full story on African Glitz TV at the end of this video. Apostle Suleiman's PR and friend, Stella Dimokokos, spoke out after Halima Abubakar's first interview. Going to Daddy Free's platform on social media a day after, the journalist revealed that Halima Abubakar cried out to her in the past, narrating that Apostle Suleiman did not settle her like he settled other women he dated. Even if this will cost me my relationship with Suleiman, I will say it. I believe there was something between them. It don't end. They don't move on. Why do they come? I believe from what she told me, from what I saw. She claimed to try to settle the differences between the secret lovers and Halima narrated how her parents had an accident. Her father passed away, so Stella demanded to help her by contacting Apostle Suleiman. The actress demanded 10 million but she got 2.5 million from Apostle Suleiman, which Halima was very grateful for at the time. She was the one who collected that money. What's the last business which collected 2.5? Stella was the one who collected it to, just to send it to me because I helped her to protect my mother. That's how she came about in this story. Stella narrated that Halima wanted a closure settlement of 20 million. Otherwise, she would tell a story about their illicit affair and how it spiritually attacked her and caused her to bleed for years. Why does she want to monetize it with blackmail? Even at that, the guy still give you 2.5. You can't come, they ask for 20 million. 20. That's her bet. They are not doing it. They are not fit to go for you. I bet. 20. Stella narrated that when she did not deliver, Halima abused her using private messages and audio. Stella said she was shocked when she did a U-turn and claimed Apostle Suleiman used juju on her. The blogger said this was when she refused to follow her and blackmailed the man of God, who is her friend and has been good to her. She demands that Halima come with all her evidence to court, claiming that she is an actress and faking the illness. Kemiolun lawyer, who later joined Daddy Free's interview, also claimed Halima wanted her to write a story about a bleeding illness. Halima told her that co-actors and actresses were doing juju on her, which was why she bled for almost six months. That you were bleeding because your own co, uh, your own colleagues, uh, you're accusing your colleagues of juju, and next thing now, the pastor is the one that did juju to you. I, my friends did juju, name them, Mercy Maybe the people she said took her to Mercy Johnson took her to Badagi. Maybe Mercy Johnson should now start to clear her name because everybody knows the story, but nobody is asking Mercy about the juju in Badagri that Halima alleges. Mercy, Yabo, Shan, and Tonto. Those are the fortune. No, she only told me Mercy. She only so told me Mercy. That she, has a lot of, that she has a lot of thoughts on her back where she went to for deliverance from the juju that Messi did on her. Yeah? So both ladies were shocked to see Halima making a U-turn and blaming her ex-secret lover, Apostle Suleiman, for her predicaments. Reacting to the interview, Halima Abubakar came out for a second time via this lover's live again to debunk Stella Dimokokos and Kemi's claim. Um, saying um, one minute I lose sick, one minute I don't lose sick, I don't understand. How do they want me to look? The way I look, is it not enough for you? How okay. do you want me to look like Stella? 
This is 2023, Stella. You were just talking nonsense. I even adding an innocent uh, uh, person in it. Don't dare, don't, don't, don't do that rubbish. And you can go for psychiatric um, evaluation because something is really wrong with you. Yes, I said if I see you, if I see you, uh, what should I go do you, uh, Kemi? You go shot you. Blowing hot and calling out the journalists, she presented picture evidence of her time with Apostle Suleiman and agreed to go to court and talk about her secret life with the famous pastor. Reacting to the defamation lawsuit against her, the actress said she is delighted the man of God went the legal route because she is ready to go to war and has proved they had an affair with pictures of her and Suleiman on a romantic getaway and a printout of bank transactions. Looking like the same person. Obviously, this picture you can see that is a long time ago. Yeah, I see. I see it. These are what evidence do they need specifically for goodness sake? This is almost how many pages of paper, and this is not even quarter of it. What are these? Okay, can I can I? Okay, statement of accounts, your own account or his own account? Of course, my own. Okay. Can I say something? I said, did he check on you at all when you were sick? Oh no. Oh, he doesn't do that. I don't think he allowed it. I, anytime we have something to do together, I notice that, you know, I bleed. So I usually tell him that, okay, I'm bleeding, you know? Suleiman has also fired back with an official notice that he's going to court in a publication by his legal representatives. The cleric says Alima Abubakar's refusal to withdraw a statement means it can go ahead to prove his innocence in court. The proceeding will commence on March 25, 2023. We then filed our process and got an order from the court to continue with the proceedings. As it stands, she has been served. Since we don't know our address here in Abuja, we decided to send out the notice through the Daily Trust newspaper. Whether she comes to court or not is not our business. We have to prove our case and the court will take it from there. What I do know is that she has been served, the cleric's legal counsel said. Hmm, will there ever be an end to this scandalous drama between Apostle Suleiman and Halima Abubakar? Whose story do you believe the most? Halima Abubakar, Stella Demokokos and Kemiolun Loyo or Apostle Suleiman whose reaction is a lawsuit? I'm going to say my family, my family is, you know, they are my rock. When I was conscious, they were doing their battle you know, because they are the one who, you know, know the story. They know what I'm going through. And then when I go out and act like nothing is wrong, it's like, you know, it's crazy for somebody to. Do you think Halima has enough evidence to win this case? Or do you think Apostle Suleiman will come out victorious? I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm, I'm, I'm the face of the victims in the whole of Nollywood. All of them, they're there, they hide, and they take out their bullets. It's okay. She be on, I don't see if I won't fight, when I'm ready to fight where well, well. Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like, and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.